With the Olympic Games coming to my hometown of Brisbane, Australia, in July to August 2032, I thought it might be a good time to have a look inside my secret drawer. So this is something I've had a long time that I found at a place I lived many years ago. It's actually the Olympic Games mini diary, sponsored by the Bank of New South Wales, for the Olympics when they're in Melbourne in 1956. So let's have a look inside. I know it's been many years since I've looked. A very old book, obviously, from 1956. So the Olympic Games mini diary. Olympiad Melbourne 1956. Uh, I'll show you the thickness of the book, by the way, it's, or booklet. It's about that thick. <laughs> yes, this is just one of those many secret things in my secret drawer. So there you have a forward. Obviously, you can pause this video if you want to read. It won't show you all that well, but... We'll have a go anyway. So there's the Ford. The contents are there. Very old book, no doubt it's a collector's item. Well, I'm not sure how many were issued. I imagine quite a lot. So there you have a bit of a blurb on page two about the Olympic Games in ancient times. And it continues on. Sorry, I can't get in a bit closer for this. Uh, four, five, six, yes, that's right. And the Olympic Games in modern times, where they were held up until the point of this book. So obviously in 1896, at the first Olympiad in Athens, followed in 1900 by Paris, 1904 St. Louis, 1908 London, 1912, Stockholm. 1920, Antwerp. 1924, Paris again. Well, they did well. <laughs> 1928, Amsterdam. The 10th Olympic Games were held, or Olympiad, went 1932, Los Angeles. Berlin in 1936. London again, 1948, 1952, Helsinki, Finland, and when this booklet was made, 1956, Melbourne. So there's some history there. As I say, if you can, you can pause this. I'll try and keep it sharp, but it's not that possible when you're on a shoestring budget. Then we have what the uh, the events were. For example, Table 1 on page 10 is men's track and field events. We had all those competitors there. Table 2, Table 3, women's track and field events, men's swimming, women's swimming. Of course, those things are still in the Olympic Games of today, but... Some extra things have been added. Principles and rules of the games. I couldn't tell you if that's any different now. <laughs> Olympic medals and diplomas. I'll have a closer look at those. There we go. Not the best printing, but this was a long time ago. Obviously 1956. And there's the games venue in 1956 in Melbourne. That's the stadium. Looks like a model of the stadium to me. Maybe an aerial shot. I'm not sure. There's the track. We ran, 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 ran. <laughs> anyway, a bit about the Olympic Park there.
By the way, when you're filming a video, make sure you turn the wall clock off. <laughs> now I've told you that, you probably notice it more. Anyway. So the Olympic Village. That's what it looked like. I can't say it's probably a huge village by today's Olympic standards, but a village nevertheless. I'm not a great fan of the fact they're coming to Brisbane because... Uh, like everywhere I've ever seen, they spend enormous amounts of money, which I know they're doing, and I'm seeing changes already with building and everything changing in Brisbane. And as far as I know, every time, once it's gone and the crowds have gone back overseas and to their own states, it uh, rarely gets used. The only people I think benefit really long term are uh, local businesses. But by the same token, as I continue here, these are the Olympic flags. There's Australia. By the same token, there's a lot of people also lose out on business. That's the ones that are bypassed. Oh, look at all those flags. I used to have a giant map of the world on my wall as a kid. with all the flags on it. Yeah, so a lot of businesses move, uh, miss out because they're bypassed. They're no longer on the main drag, as we'd say. I imagine there's more flags today, too. Anyway, there's not a, not a flag lesson. And there's the events listing what's what was coming in Melbourne, and obviously what happened. So on this particular page, page 32 and 33, with another photograph, you had basketball, boxing, athletics over there. That's the distances. And they even mentioned it in metres back then. Not yards. And that's unusual. Because I think it wasn't too long after I was born we changed to the metric system in Brisbane. And that was, I'll say it quietly, 19... I've forgotten. 1964. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they mentioned it in metres. So obviously a European thing. More so. And there's the stadium of Melbourne. That's the diagram of the marathon course. They went... <laughs> oh. Road walk. Oh. So when they walked, they went... <laughs> Very funny, Steve. <laughs> anyway. This is just for those of you curious what was in the, the booklet. I'll speed up a little bit. Canoeing, cycling events, kayak, tandem. There's the track broad meadows. Summertown. Summerton. There we go. And I can tell you for one thing that that's changed an awful lot since the Olympics of 1956. What hasn't? So we have different highlights about fencing, football, picture of the St Kilda Town Hall, which I assume is still there in some form or another. I've only ever been to Melbourne once, I think, apart from stop-offs at an airport in transit. Can't say Melbourne's my favourite city at all. Um, I guess it does have a lot of history. So there is that. I saw Ned Kelly's helmet there. Someone stole his head, apparently, too, once. Gymnastic events that were listed. You had hockey. The modern pentathlon. Riding, fencing, pistol shooting. All those events still happen. Rowing, shooting. Um, yeah, I used to shoot competitively, and I was actually very good at it. Subtle interruption there, believe it or not. <laughs> Um, yeah, I was editing and the end of the film um, was missing. So reshooting this some hours later. I was just saying I won several awards in various disciplines of shooting many years ago. Uh, so he had like clay pigeon shooting, free pistol, a rifle, silhouette, running deer. Hmm, running deer. Small ball rifle. Swimming, polo. Um, I remember too, just speaking of, while well, you read this, 
speaking of when I was shooting, uh, I remember seeing a professional air pistol for competitions and uh, it was very, very expensive. Um, a few thousand dollars at least, I can't quite recall. Anyway, back to the story. At wrestling, there was a photograph of uh, the exhibition building at the time in Melbourne. Probably still there, I imagine. Yachting. Not sure if we still have yachting. Uh, I don't know. I'm not much of a sports person, am I? But anyway, there was the yachting course that they took. So they went round and round and round. Round and round and round and round. And round. Hmm. Not sure. Comment below if you think there's much difference between then and now. Uh, fine arts exhibition. Had all sorts of things there. They must have obviously had a uh, series of concerts, etc. In the meantime, it's interesting. I suppose Brisbane will have something similar. Right, so this is the diary of the 1956 Olympic Games, which started on Thursday, 22nd of November, 1956. There's some of the venues here. So this would give you an idea, obviously, of what was on where, how to get there. Which is always handy. Because I imagine a lot of people came from not just Melbourne. They had weightlifting events, hockey, fencing, rowing, football. Hmm. A lot of things. Basketball, boxing, weightlifting. Pentathlons, as you can see on the, making sure I don't hit the stop button this time, making sure, um, yeah, uh, that you're able to find, and St. K would be St. Kilda, that's what I know, and whereabouts you could find things in the times, like weightlifting at 1pm, for example, back here, modern pentathlon at 8am, in a different area, you had, uh, Basketball also at 8 a.m. So you'll see it repeats quite a lot on different pages. And then we go to November 26th. Same sort of thing. I guess this will be in the, the Brisbane Guide too. When the time comes, I won't be attending. Hopefully I'll still be on the planet is one thing, but uh, yeah, I certainly won't be. So yeah, basically a guide. I'm sure you've all seen guides of sorts. We keep going to Wednesday, November 28th. Thursday, November 29th, 1956. With the events there. Pause this video anytime you want to have a close look. And excuse my squeaky office chair I'm sitting on. Yeah, so they would continue with those sort of things almost at the end of the book. Let here with fencing, canoeing, shooting, your average typical things. Quite a lot of things were on actually. So you'd have to, like now, pick and choose which events you went to. Quiet chair. Wednesday 25th. Skimming through now. And right up until the point of Saturday, December 8th. Which as you'll see as I zoom in here. The closing ceremony. Uh, Melbourne Stadium, I guess MS stood for. Saturday, December 8th. And you can see whoever actually attended these events made little notes. So obviously the winner of that event they went to was USA down the bottom there. Great Britain with an exclamation mark, I would assume that is. You might find that interesting. So there we go. And on the inside cover we have 
a fold out map of inner Melbourne, which I guarantee you is no longer the same. <laughs> I guarantee that. That's for sure. Although, like Brisbane and most cities, there will be still, possibly a lot of the streets are still there, but vastly changed with their, their um, what they have there. And there's a key, or index as I would call it, where you'll find different sections in this booklet, which folding up, trying not to destroy the booklet, ends with that cover. Which starts off with practice makes perfect and that's true of everything isn't it so there we have the 1956 melbourne olympics olympics games sorry olympic games mini diary time for this to go back into my secret drawer so if you found that of interest at all let me know in the comments, do you read a lot of books? And what sort of books would you like to see featured on this channel? Because I do have some that in time I will put up. Let me know in the comments, and thanks for joining me. Cheers.